Hey. Hey. I said ambiently, just around. God, dude. Like, can I just get a message out, you know? Maybe you can help me with this. Not the apple. The apple I took care of on my own. But the economy. As far as I can, as far as I know, as far as I can tell, I'm no, I was gonna say, I'm no economist, but, you know, I studied economy. Microeconomics and I, some macroeconomics in college I studied. I get the whole numbers game. I, I study economics and World of Warcraft in the auction house, like working with people's minds, buying and selling and trading and watching numbers turn into other numbers due to the things they represent. My problem, I keep hitting this roadblock, like I'm reading that most of the people that got there, or a lot, most of the people that got there, or many of the people that got their rebates last year, those $500 rebates or whatever they were, use the money to pay down debt instead of buying stuff and putting it back into the economy. <clears throat> yeah, excuse me. And I think, as far as I can tell, okay, all our money is representative of promissory notes that the government has. And even the promissory notes that the government have are representative of money that's given out by the Federal Reserve, which is a private company. The Federal Reserve issues promissory notes to the government. Say they issue a thousand promissory notes to the government or to a bank or something. The bank takes it, or the government takes it, I think, and then the government gives the promissory notes, loans them to the bank. So the Federal Reserve to the government, government to the bank, I think. Help me out, too. If you know any of this or if I'm getting any of this information inaccurate, please let me know. Please, like, supplement it because I think we should have a conversation about this. And if you have ideas about this or you have ways to go with this, it's cool. Because from what I can tell, shit, dude. As soon as the Federal Reserve gives out, like, a thousand notes, a thousand, to the government, the government, or to whoever... They're owed that thousand back, and they loan it, and it's owed back with interest immediately. Right after it's loaned, there's interest involved. So we already owe more money than we have. From the inception of the Federal Reserve in like 1920s, whatever, Woodrow Wilson, I think, put it up. He's a genius. The guy knew this is going to be a great system to make a lot of money, but what he didn't realize is only for a certain amount of time, and then the system's going to crash, or we got to like use it to kind of pull vault onto a new system like a non-money system, uh, a nano system. I think it's possible. We really, if we get enough people together, get everybody together, a lot of people together, we can nanify things. But, so the, the money's owed back. And then what happens is we take out more money to pay back the interest. And then the money that we had just taken out to pay back the interest is owed interest on. And so we take out more money to pay that off. And as days go by, the interest accrues, so we owe more money. And we're like trillions of dollars in debt to this Federal Reserve, or however many hundreds of billions or something. And it's like fake money. You know, it's just an idea, but we've created this idea, and we have a whole system based around four ninety nine a pound or whatever it comes to, that, that it's a real thing, but it's still just an idea. And we've kind of buckled ourselves into this idea. And the idea is about to, ex ready to explode, I thought. Ready, dude, it's like, we owe more than we have. We owe more money than we have as a society, as a culture. As a human race, maybe, I don't know, as an American people. We owe more money than we have. How does that work? That's fucked, dude. Interest? And they call it interest, like it's interesting. It's, there's not an interesting about interest. Interest is not a good thing. I mean, yeah, it is, I heard. It's good for the people that are loaning, but it's not good for the people that are paying. Like a direct loan, loan $5 to get $5 back a week later, that's good, man. That's human behavior at its best. Loan $5, get $7 back a week later, it's fucked up. That should not happen. And I granted inflation and more money is being printed and more people are being born, so you got to accommodate that things are represented with more money. 
and maybe that's what interest is supposed to do, but interest is like, it accrues too fast because in mathematics, compound interest is the, someone said, compound interest is the strongest force in the universe. I think Einstein talked about it a little bit, but I know it because what happens is, it's like when you compound it, so it's like you're exponenting it, you're exponenting it, exponenting it, exponentializing it. You have 2, and then you have 4, and then you have 8, and then you have 16, and then you have 32, and then you have 64, and then you have 128, and then you have 256, and then you have 512, and then you have over 1,000, and it's the same increment. So it's like 2 to 4, to 8, to 16, to 32, and all of a sudden it's like one second, say like one second, it doubles every second. 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So like all of a sudden, in one second, you're going from 1,024 to 2,048. I know, I'm starting to forget. But okay, so, so take that like 50 seconds down the line. It goes from like 600 billion doubled. So it's like 1,200 billion, 1.2 trillion. And, it, and, like, and then it's like, it's happening so fast like, the increase is so drastic in such a short amount of time that it, it, it's, it can't be, like, it can't be sustained. It, it, it can't be sustained. It loses its meaning. It can't be sustained. It's, I mean, it becomes about a different thing. Like, money... Okay, I hope you... Uh, if I was able to give, like, a, a jumping point for here. i got to get go to work, so... Well, I mean, this is work, too. i got to figure out these economic... Because, like, I'm, I'm just tired of reading this shit about people, like, we got to get these $500 bonuses to people. Obama. Nice tax cut, dude. But fucking, we are on the brink of disaster economically because of compound interest. And he needs some, some brilliant mathematicians showing this on a graph to people because we're like... I guess i got to just do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to, like, look up our national debt, look up our nat national interest rate, interest to the Federal Reserve. It's, like, it's hard to find this info. They do it intentionally. They don't, they don't make it applicable. Like, they don't put it on Yahoo News on the front page of Yahoo or Google. Every day, if you could look at our national debt, the, the interest that it's accruing from how many sources, that would be good info to have because we could sort of manage it. But it's, like, it's just such a huge snowball that I'm going to go to make money tonight. And then I'm probably going to spend money tomorrow. Maybe, probably not tonight, I'm going to try not to. I may even spend money, you know? And like, so I'm talking and complaining about this shit, and, I'm, and the problem is getting worse because we keep doing it. And it's, I just don't know another way other than the money right now for me. Like, I can't just jump out of a plane tomorrow and be like, I don't need money, I'm, I can fly. So, dude, help me. If you can, help yourself by helping me, by helping yourself. I love you. I want to work together with you. I don't love you. I don't even know who you are, man, or woman. This is fucking, we're all in this together, dude. Just like the ants. Okay, I was a little manic. I tried to get a lot out in a short amount of time. My information transfer is compounding, if you can tell. I get out more in a shorter period now than I used to. No, it's not, actually. It's balanced. It's up and down. So this happened to be a manic moment. Bear with me. Love me. Dude, love. Maybe this will help. String tension has something to do with it. change our currency might be a start it's going to leave a lot of people out a lot of people homeless is what I'm thinking it's like a lot of people can't afford a transfer of currency but if we don't transfer the currency into something new we're not going to have any currency uh, I may be out of, I may be like freaking out too much about it but dude this is just whack shit dude I need, I need to have more people talking about it and aware of this net Federal Reserve and this, this national debt that's, I mean, every day it goes up. Every day they make more money. They loan out more money to pay back the money that was already owed from before. 
Woodrow Wilson gave us a time frame, or whoever put this shit together at the, Fed, the Federal Reserve, they call it the Fed, the Federal Government, the Federal Reserve, yet they're not related. It's like calling Bank of America the Federal Bank of America. It's fucked up, dude. He gave us like an 80-year time frame in the 20s to, to get this fixed. Or like a 100-year time frame. So we got like 20 more years before, I think before it's completely useless. Before before the, the, the entire Federal Reserve is just... Like, it's going to be like $1,000 for bread in, in 20 years, maybe. I don't want to... I mean, I feel like that's where it's headed. But I don't know enough about it to be sure about it. But he definitely built us a time frame. We don't have unlimited amounts of time. We have to... To get off, the, to, to evolve this system into something new. Okay, peace out, brother, sister.